you can do a lot of fun stuff with dates in Rome and I thought I'd uh, show you a few things that I'm doing. So I'm on the daily page and although I haven't typed anything yet, you see here my linked references. Some of these have been made manually and oftentimes I'll use the Rome toolkit. So for example, I might say do this in three days and it automatically fills in the right date or I might say uh, next Monday and it fills in the right date. So I often send things to myself using uh, that kind of functionality. Uh, so that's an example here and here. Um, I also use spaced repetition and this is also from the Rome toolkit. So here, for example, is a question about what inspired Pilatus from a, an article that I've read. And uh, I remember that this was, um, I think this was science, the natural movement of children and dance. And so I can quickly expand it. No, it wasn't dance, it was actually cats. Okay, so I'm gonna say that I wanna schedule that again for, I'm gonna close it again. I'm gonna schedule, and of course here I could also, if I want to understand more, I can go and actually, you know, read the whole article. Uh, and you see here the other questions that I have, and you see here that they, they're automatically scheduled for different dates. Um, but for this one, I'm going to schedule it uh, for tomorrow because I didn't know the answer and that removes it automatically. So now um, I have this um, dynamic daily template and it uh, most of these are actually static, like log, uh, daily plan, stand up. These are just headlines that I use to organize my notes. But these, uh, the retro, these are just links to previous daily pages. Um, because I use the daily page for entering all, almost all of my content, uh, revisiting daily pages seven days ago, 30 days ago and 90 days ago is a really nice way of um, just seeing things with new eyes, seeing things you've missed, uh, revisiting. Uh, then this Gmail retro, it just automatically generates a link that actually shows me all the emails that I sent on this day um, three years ago, six years ago, nine years ago. And again, it's, it's a nice way of revisiting and also some of that content I might want to bring into Rome. Um, and then I have a new thing here, recurring tasks. So basically I just automatically generate a query. And so if I want to have something that happens every Monday, uh, the whole week 17, um, the 20th of the month, the third Monday of the month, uh, of course these will change tomorrow, it will be Tuesday and so on. Um, and here we see that it's Monday, so I have a weekly planning meeting here. Uh, okay, so that's what I'm doing on the daily page. Um, in addition, I added something new which is kind of fun. Um, so I've been uh, writing a blog for uh, quite a few years, uh, actually 16 years. Uh, I haven't written much in the last few years and so now I'm working more on my newsletter, but there's a lot of great ideas here. Uh, and there's also a lot of stuff that's completely out of date and not very interesting. So I'd love to go through and actually, um, you know, find uh, chunks here that I might want to copy into my room but it's a lot of pages and so it's it's quite overwhelming. Um, so what I did is I copied these links into, I just have a blog inbox. And so this is just copying from that archive page and I also have these headers and stuff. Uh, I could clean them up, but I'm not gonna bother. And what I want to do is to kind of schedule these uh, in the future. And so I don't really wanna do this too often. So let's say I do it once every four days. But, you know, given that there's a lot of headers and stuff, let's grab four lines per time. And then I'm gonna indent it under the date instead of adding the date to every single line. Um, so I'm just going to select all of this text and I'll put it on my clipboard. And then I will run the algorithm. So this is just using keyboard ma maestro to process this in the background. And now I'll replace this text with the process text. And so what you see here is um, starting April 24th, it gives me just four lines. And so it gives me some uh, some of this formatting, but that's, that's fine. Uh, I'm just trying to do something very simple, April 28th. And because I don't generally open Rome in the weekend, I made it skip uh, weekend. So it's only going to give me um, Monday to Friday. And, you know, I'm going to be working on this for a while. This goes to October 23rd, um, but what's the rush? And another example of that would be, for example, I've been, I've got this kind of um, speculative outlines 
uh, of, of things. And this is something I'd love to do more writing on. Uh, and again, it's, you know, it might become something really big. And so it's, it's overwhelming. And it'd be great to just choose one of these bullets and do a bit of writing on it every day. Um, so what I can do here, let's see, is I can, I have a, a new page here called three level scheduling. I'm going to just drag, I'll drag over all of these bullets. And then I'm going to say, um, let's say I want to do uh, two of these every day. And I'm going to have the date individual. I'll copy this. I'll run X space. Sorry. And here you see a date on each of these um, items. And so now it's all scheduled. Now, unfortunately, because when you copy, it actually resolves the block references into Markdown. And so when you copy back, they're not block references anymore. They're just Markdown. So you lose that connection, which is not ideal. But anyway, it's a, it's a quick little hack and you know it might be useful. Um, so now if we go to, and by the way, you should never click on these links to go to the future because currently there's a bug where that will mess up your date pages. So for these are safe once you get to that page naturally, but if you want to jump to the future, it's always safer to use the date picker. So if I go now to April 27th, we'll see here that uh, the three levels of note taking, uh, the three levels of scheduling, sorry, has this, uh, this bullet and I can do some, do some uh, writing on it. So that's uh, a few little tricks I'm, I'm trying out. Maybe it's useful. Um, all of this code is on my GitHub, uh, but it's you know it's kind of hacky. So if you're not comfortable with the terminal, probably you should just let this serve as an inspiration, and maybe one day some of this functionality will be built into to Rome. Thanks.